Hi friends, welcome back to another video. T today we'll be doing my first ever sketchbook tour. This is my first ever fully finished sketchbook. A little bit about this sketchbook is I've had this sketchbook since I was like 15, 16. Abandoned it multiple times and I finally finished it last year in um, December 2023. So without any further ado, let's get into this. So this is the like the cover page. Uh, another fun fact about this sketchbook is majority of this beginning section are all cover-ups because uh, I drew a bunch in high school and um, hated a lot of my art in this sketchbook in high school and without super embarrassed and the only way I felt I could continue with this sketchbook is if I covered everything up and tried again. <laughs> so any full pages that are just like fully covered like this are cover-ups. I don't remember what's under these um, and I don't care to remember. Anywho, these were my really old business cards. These are like the first ever, ever business cards. Um, and then this was like my Star Wars OC. At the time that I was working on, I put them in a cute X-Wing pilot outfit. Uh, this was <laughs> all cover-up. <laughs> This was acrylic paint. I actually did this drawing digitally and then I printed it, um, glued it in here. Uh, I did this when I was in my high school art class with watercolor. This was just some trash I found on the floor that I thought was cool. This, I remember doing this page in my German class. I had swiped some of my friend's color pencils. His name was Brody. He just had like a Ziploc bag of Crayola color pencils and I wanted to draw so I got two color pencils from him to draw this Sketch and this gave me so much confidence because like I was I did not care for this sketchbook at the time I really did not but like I really enjoyed this page um, And I think my mom named these two owls These were the chairs and table at the coffee shop that I used to work at before I was employed there um, Just a glass of water. I don't know if that was at the coffee shop. I doubt it this was my first ever painting using hemi gouache. I really like gouache and this was kind of like my first starter into it. Um, this page, I honestly felt really depressed at the time. I just was upset and anxious all the time and like my brain just felt super cloudy all the time which is like all those squiggles. But this was just a self portrait I did. Um, I wanted to practice like these cross hatching thing that I didn't really execute that well. Um, it still looks good, but it's not like what I wanted. This is when I had short hair too. Um, but yeah, this is just a self-portrait and um, I wrote butterfly effect because um, my day and emotions were really tousled <laughs> by like anything. It could have been just like the smallest little hiccup and from there on I was just like an anxious mess and it just really sucked at the time. 16 was rough. Um, this page I remember doing in my English class junior year. Um, I actually brought watercolors with me to school and I watercolored these in class when I had time. Um, this was actually a song I was working on at the time when I was like more into music things. Um, and these were some overalls I was going to paint. That was actually like a whole project I started and never finished in real life. So I have this postcard. I don't remember where I got it from. Um, and then I drew Pascal. And then this was just a reference from Pinterest, some like architecture things. So this is kind of when I first started to try and draw in like pen and just not care about my mistakes anymore. And just like, if I messed up, I just went, oh, I messed up and keep going. This is just a page of prairie dogs. I remember doing this also in my English class and my English teacher caught me watercoloring and she was like, oh, that's so cute. This was just a random drawing. It might've been a Pinterest reference. I don't know. Um, I was looking up like cool eyeshadow stuff to put on her, but I ended up just throwing like uh, a highlighter on. This was another painting that I did in my art class. It was just a really stupid little, you know, thing. <laughs> it's not stupid. I don't know what to, it's just a small little piece I guess. This piece I really liked because prior to like starting the sketchbook I was watching sketchbook tours religiously and I just wanted like the perfect sketchbook and so I can show it and be proud of it and everyone will love it. Like halfway through the sketchbook I was like okay that's stupid you need to like grow in your sketchbook but I was super happy with this page. Again all cover up. Um, this was just a cat I did in Prismacolor color pencil. 
Sorry, that took me forever to say. I also have, I think that under this was Hemi gouache, uh, Posca pen, and then just like some pen. Um, but this was a cat off of Pinterest that I saw that I really liked. Um, at the time, I was also teaching myself French. I think this was when quarantine almost started. We were kind of like at that thing right about then. Um, this was reference from Pinterest, but I wanted to color it in different colors. So again, all Posca pen and then practicing my French. My mom used to be into like doing fluid art and she would have a lot of scraps and stuff left over on plastic. So I would peel them all um, and then I would stick them in my sketchbook. Um, and this one, I just drew a bunch of fish, cut them out and taped them in. This was just a bunch of fruit. I like the blueberries the best. This is when I first kind of started to experiment with gouache and color pencil. Uh, the Hemi gouache did not love the color pencil. It like kind of chipped at spots and that kind of made me upset. Um, but the blueberries are my favorite. Um, these are okay too, but I didn't ever finish. This was my sketch for my Ukraine um, painting. This was just a page in red pen. Like I said before, I was trying to like stop drawing in pencil and erase my picture for two hours and just go in with pen and if I messed up, I messed up. And if I had to try again, I just tried again. But this was all in red. Um, I think that's so funny. But everything in red that I could think of, I drew it in the red pen. And then this was another painting idea I had, but I never, I never got it done. This was Posca pen blobs um, that I ended up turning into little drawings. This was like, a figure pose practice but it never got turned into anything just practice I guess here's another fluid art painting thing um, and then I had old magazines where I cut out just some words and made a really really shitty poem <laughs> and then I drew this with Hemi gouache and I think gold pen this was a cover-up you can kind of see and then I also drew other things here but I don't remember what but that's just the only thing that's showing through but I drew this daisy lady, um, did not at all really come out how I wanted it to, but it's not bad. Um, these were just notes for YouTube that I was taking. This is my very first tattoo. I drew my tattoo. My mom and I floated the idea. I remember we were outside on the deck and we were talking about getting matching tattoos and we we're like, well, what will we get? Cause it's like, I don't want like a butterfly or like a stupid quote or anything like, cause that's not us. And we watched the show, What We Do in the Shadows, and we are like, what if we just do a bat? So I drew us a bat, and that's both on our ankles now. Um, this was, uh, we had an eclipse on May 15th of 2022, I guess. This is a Russian doll um, measuring cup that I have. My mom bought these measuring cups a long time ago, and she never used them. So now I use them for decor. One of my friends at the time was getting tattooed, and while I was waiting for her to get tattooed, um, I drew these. This is a little duck with a little top hat and some raccoons. Uh, my mom left me this, um, this note in my room and I just thought it was really cute. This was when quarantine first started. So I drew on this page. This I didn't touch until 2022. This was in 2020. Wild time jump. But um, this was when I first like shadowed at my old coffee shop that I worked at because I wanted to learn how to make coffee. I wasn't necessarily working there yet. But I just wanted to learn how to make coffee um, and it was super slow that day. There's only like four customers so I ended up just drawing this while waiting for people to come in. This I drew at my favorite coffee shop, practiced some French and just drew my coffee in the glass. Um, these were little animals and cups. This was the first sketch of that sticker and keychain that I ended up making. Um, more like social media notes. My leg was really hurting that day. I had like really bad nerve pain for like ever. Still do sometimes, but oh well. Um, these are the first sketches for my acrylic charms, my Star Wars acrylic charms. And uh, this was my last drawing of 2022. Next uh, are a bunch of moths. This is kind of where I really came out of my comfort zone and started just like trying to put whatever down onto a page and pen. Um, I really like this one, my little like devil moth. This was a Posca pen page. Um, half of it came out fine, half of it like I really don't like. Uh, like I was just drawing Ahsoka because I was bored and I had those colors and Posca pen in my sketchbook at the time. 
Um, but you know, I really don't love it. I like this eye and I like this duck and this cat's fine too, I guess. And then upside down, it's like this praying mantis guy looking thing. I went to a lantern festival when I drew on this page. So I drew like some Tangle-ish inspired flowers. Um, Diego as a Diablo. Some strawberries, little, little girl. I remember doing this at my coffee job too when it was slow. Um, I really like this top piece and this bottom piece, just very sketchy. And uh, I had bought some new pens from this little place in Longmont and I was just testing them out. I love this one, that pen. Um, not necessarily sketch, I just love that pen, sorry. <laughs> this, okay, this was a trash page. Um, so this, just for clarity, not my work. Um, it is actually, I'm gonna put their name up here. This was a sticker on my water bottle that my friend was drawing at the time. So this is not mine. Um, this was very, very heavily referenced. I drew this page at my first pop-up market that went horribly. So me and my friend just drew the randomest stuff in here and it's like not good. Um, these are just marker swatches. Uh, I didn't know what to do when I wanted to fill up a page, so I just made myself like a garbage, garbage page with, um, hemi gouache and color pencil. This page I don't hate. Um, I drew some Tergrudos from Star Wars. I really like her. She's good too. I don't know what happened to her. And then at the time I was in this, uh... Padme Anakin or Padme Vader zine and I was trying to figure out how to draw Natalie Portman so I did studies and then I got fed up as you can see. <laughs> this was me in a little Bridgerton outfit um so I went to this Bridgerton ball but the person I was originally going with um flaked out on me so I was like at the time like going by myself or not going it was just and i ended up finding someone to go with me but at the time i was just super upset uh this is just a house study with some eye sticky notes this was my last drawing of 2020 wait was it no it's not just kidding this was almost my last drawing of 2022 uh i had worked on these during the day in that bb8 when i finished like later on but I loved these. This is like, this was my favorite spread, like at the time. This was a self-portrait of me, um, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but I just like, I don't know. I don't remember what I was feeling. Obviously I was feeling something. I think maybe burnt out. I think I was maybe feeling burnt out because I drew myself kind of as a candle. Um, and then it was Year of the Rabbit. I think it was becoming Year of the Rabbit. So I did this cute little like rabbit vase and flowers. Um, some really crazy cat sketches and um, Trilla from Star Wars, a really bad Trilla sketch. These are all references from Pinterest. This is how it started. And then this is the next one. And then it ended with this one. Like I somehow just progressed. I didn't progress. <laughs> this spread I was also really proud of. I just, I really liked all the colors and I drew her, I think entirely just like start to finish in pen. And then I came back to her and, you know, just colored her out a little bit. Uh, this was in Holbein acrylic wash. Um, this was also in Holbein acrylic wash. I also really like this page. Like I love this pair. Um, I think I really only like this pair, but I still really like it. This is my anxious artist sticker designs that I first started. This was like the first bee haw design I did. Very different than what it came out like now. Um, this was just trash page. This uh, was a sticker Sam gave me, but it was kind of not doing so hot in my water bottle, so I put it in here. Um, and then Sam wanted me to draw Kylo Ren, so I drew him just just really, just really badly. Um, and I wrote, if villain bad, why hot? And then I was gonna draw on this page, but I couldn't draw with him looking at me, so I just I just skipped it. These were all of my clay pen ideas. I was working up to getting into Comic-Con and um, getting my table ready and all that stuff. So um, hung out outside of a coffee shop and drew all of these. Uh, I was drawing in the car, this page. I really liked this one. Um, and I could not draw for the rest of the time. This was my first lino cutout stamp that I did um, after failing in high school <laughs> but this was just like a little mug it kind of looks like a pumpkin because of the flowers and everything but this was just a test practice uh, and then i drew blue diamond on like scrap paper and taped it in 
uh, just other sketches. Uh, this page was also originally drawn at the market. Sam wanted me to draw like a hot Gandalf. Um, and that was going to be that, but it never happened. Um, so I just put mushrooms everywhere. Uh, another lino test. Um, this, I just drew a bunch of weird shapes and I tried to turn them into things. And then I drew a vase. Um, I was really frustrated with drawing. This was originally like not going to be an angsty piece, but it was going to be like a self portrait, uh, of, me in a certain pose. I don't remember what. I think it's just going to be me in the grass or something like that. But I couldn't get it, so I was just really frustrated and I ended up just scribbling this whole page. And I drew these two fish, which I really like, and a, a fairy cup and some weird little faces. I took my cat outside in my backyard and because he likes to hang out. I always watch him. He's always supervised, so he doesn't like do anything he's not supposed to be doing. Because cats are not good for our environment. Do not let your cat out unsupervised. But he ended up tiring himself out and he fell asleep on this little garden table that we have outside. So I drew him. And then I drew She-Ra. Um, and then I was bored and found a pose. So I tried drawing uh, Morticia and Gomez and suits. I could not figure out how to draw a suit. So I tried to practice drawing suits. But I was like, I need to practice more. The faces were cute, but like the bodies really needed work. This was a redraw of that really bad cat a while ago, and it came out so much better. This was also really cute, and I like all these fishies. I really like this rose. I like the idea of this mermaid, but it wasn't executed the way I wanted it to. It's not bad, but I don't love it, but I really do like the colors of this one. Um, this was Samantha. She drew a gator, I think. <laughs> It could be a dinosaur too. I think it's a gator. It could, it might be a dinosaur. I think it's actually a dinosaur, not a gator. Sorry, Sam. I drew this spider web. I also drew this like cool sword. I'm trying to get more into cool pen sketches and stuff. Uh, a fairy, which I like the idea of her, but I don't like, I don't know what happened here. Her face is okay. And I also really like that flower. I think a painting of that would be fun. Hair studies. Sam and I went to a, a coffee shop to sketch and I just did a bunch of Pinterest studies um, and Ice King, I guess. I also really liked this page. This is just another eyeball page because I didn't know what to draw, but it came out really cute. Um, and then I was working on other just like fun designs. I drew Jake in like this fun little stamp thing and then this cute little fairy in this stamp thing. Some mushrooms, some like cute little stars. Um, this page, I like the idea. I don't didn't really execute it I think quite well. I just I tried drawing these little like fairies with flowers. They're not my favorite but they're cute. Um, this was when Fiona and Cake came out um, and I drew Prismo and Fiona and Cake and upset Simon down there and it's cute because like you can stand it up and it's like the wall you know so it fits with Prismo so it's a little more creative. I think it's fun. Um, this was I don't remember. This was cute. Uh, this is just a little BMO. Do it for the plot. Could be a sticker. Um, um, I drew my stressors, I guess. I guess it was, um, coffee. It was probably coffee shop money, and I, I don't know what the shovel was supposed to be. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, I wanted to draw, um, this, like, got this pumpkin man here, praying mantis. Um, I remember doing this at work and just practicing shapes and colors, and this ended up turning into a bigger project one day. Um, this is my Halloween page. I just drew some cats, pumpkin, um, some more cats. I really like this ghost one, but that also insinuates probably that he's dead, so it kind of makes me feel sad at the same time. I don't know. Um, and then I went to a zine making night, and I made like my first scene ever, and it's just kind of more cats in like Halloween-ish outfits and stuff. Um, Astarian, I tried drawing Astarian. Um, and then some like worm warm-ups. This is what, wait, this turned into like, and I, this is like one of my favorite paintings that I've done. It's just this really cool like cat quilt thingy. And then I like practice drawing more cats and more stars. This was a reference from Pinterest um, of a tree and just practicing like cross hatching and all that stuff. Little ladybug. Um, my mom has been trying to get me to go more abstract to like loosen up um, my drawing skills and stuff. And I have been working on it, but this was like 
Um, she originally gave me a big canvas, which was like kind of daunting because I felt like I was gonna fuck it up. So I just practiced first in my sketchbook. So I was like, well, I'll just like, you know, mess up my sketchbook. That's fine. And it came out pretty fine. Like, it's not crazy. Like, it's, it's definitely, I'm not sure if I call it abstract. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, it kind of looks like a scenery thing, but it looks good. I like the colors for sure, like this hot pink and stuff over it. Um, some tulips. And then I tried drawing Miguel from the Spider-Verse. He looked very stiff here, like almost like a doll, so I wrote Hey Barbie next to it. Um, some trees. This was really sad, this was my last day as a barista and whenever I had downtime I just sketched into my sketchbooks I just wanted a page to remember that was my last day I really like this little foam cat cup I think that was really cute I had started this painting and then I never came back to it because I kind of like I felt like I messed it up so I tried sketching it because I was just nervous of it I guess um, some scenery this I just was upset and stressed but like I wanted to work in my sketchbook and get pages done but like I also didn't really have anything going on. This was also just kind of a event piece that I might turn into like a future zine or like small little novel or something I think in the future. Um, some eyes and kind of cover-ups to cover up the Copic ink in the back and then a cute little like bat lady that I'd like to like come back to and turn into like a cooler looking piece. Um, some fairies, some strawberries, a cool little house, cool little woman, some flowers. I do like this spread too. I also really like that tiny little gnome. This was the sketch of the Christmas card I made for my vet. It was also um, the original sketch for my Paint With Me Christmas edition where I did all the little cats and everything. And then this was just a, a cat clock, I guess. I think that's, yeah. Um, and then at this point I started to like not get burnt out, but like I was really just itching to finish my sketchbooks. I already bought the new one and I really wanted to start working on it because at some point I realized the pages were just like not the right quality for me to do mixed media stuff. Like it's thick enough, but like it didn't love me using marker on it. And I really wanted to use marker and stuff on it and it just it was just a little rough and like I don't know I just didn't love the paper later on so this was a moth that I didn't really care for um, I tried doing a cool scenery piece with markers but it didn't really come out the way I had planned um, doesn't look bad but it's definitely not my favorite um, this is kind of when I started getting excited about clay I was trying to come up with like things to make with clay and I came up with like the, the little tic-tac-toe waffle boards that you see and then maybe like making a chess board. Um, some oranges, of strawberry again, and some little cat heads with fruit on them. Uh, this was a zine that I was planning on making. I still have not made my zine yet. Um, I think I need to make this zine because looking at it now I'm like, I need to make that. This is a Pinterest post um, that I was copying like the hands of and um, there's a bunch of stars, and I, I hated the stars that I drew, so I just put in um, gold stars because I had a bunch. Snakes. I actually kind of like this page. Um, I really like that guy and that guy. That guy's also really cool. Uh, also really liked this page. These were just some, like, I saw someone crochet some mice and um, make little, like, dioramas out of them, so I drew one of their dioramas, and it was just... I, uh, and I turned them into Christmas mice because Christmas was just right around the corner. So I thought it was really cute. And then I drew some flower cats. And um, as you can see, I was clearly getting tired of it and sick of it. <laughs> um, I was just trying to fill up sketchbook pages. So I did this little like, yeah, just some pen sketches, I guess. Um, you can't really see them, but oh well. Um, you can't really see them, but oh well. Um, this was another page. Again, I was just trying to fill up pages at this point. Like, they look cute, but I was really trying hard to just fill up pages because I was almost done with my sketchbook. So just a bunch of frogs. Um, yeah. That's a really awful lotus flower. Wow. Um, some scenery. I wasn't sure what to draw because I think I was burnt out, <laughs> like I've said before. I, drew, I just put some crap on the page to fill it up. And then I drew this spread for Gaza. Um, I was really upset 
about the whole thing. I still really am upset about the whole thing and to make like potential paintings and stuff in the future of it. But yeah, this was just like emotional for me. Um, and this was my last page and I finished on New Year's Eve of 2023 and I did a little self portrait of myself saying bye, I'm tired because I definitely 100% was. Um, and that's it. And I don't know what I have in here in this pocket. Let me, oh wait, is this paper? One second. No, it is not. I'm just ripping stuff out of here maybe. Oh wait, what is this? Oh yeah, I just totally just like ripped that out of there. Um, this sketchbook is so old that the glue came off. Um. Um, and that is all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it or liked my work, please like and subscribe. Um, it would mean, uh, it means the world to me. And I also have an online shop if you're interested in checking that out. It's in the description below. Um, and yeah, this is my first sketchbook tour ever. Like, I've been wanting to do this since early middle school. Have a sketchbook tour on YouTube. And it's finally here. So, thank you guys so much for following me for this journey. I'm working on two other sketchbooks right now. And I'm hoping to finish them way faster than I finished this one. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!